I just want to show you something I've been doing, not just at the height of spring, but from the beginning of spring, which is making use of some really fantastic um, lush wild greens. Um, and not in a normal way that, that I would in, in salads and things, but as a kind of smoothie, which is really fantastic cleansing and vitalizing. We've got absolutely everything I need here, absolutely sport for choice. So let's get in and, and get a few choice nibbles. The dandelion's like a beacon showing us a way to these lovely leaves. Aren't they great? And it's one of those wonderful plants where there's something edible that can be utilized at any time of the year. But I'm gonna get about 10 of these leaves. Even now, spring has really kind of advanced, so the cow parsley is already going to flower. So just a few of these leaves really. Got some nice nettles here. These are gorgeous. I'd, I'd prefer it slightly if they they weren't purple on the top. That's a sign of the advance of spring. Summer just around the corner. And I'm going to get about 20 or 30 of these nettle tops. I could have a really good laugh and say, you know, I've been foraging for 20, 30 years now, and after about five years, you, you get this amazing immunity. Um, actually, I'd be lying. The truth is, it gets worse and worse and worse. But, for some reason, I'm just in luck today, and sometimes, it's hard to explain, but you just don't get stung, and it's one of those fortunate days today. It's just not happening. And the final thing I want to get is cleavers or goose grass. They're getting a little bit tough below like the first inch or so now, so just a small handful of this. It's very cleansing. And finally, a little bit of jack by the hedge or garlic mustard as it's called. And then we are. A few greens for our green smoothie. Great, let's go and make a smoothie. The other thing about working with wild greens, I mean, and particularly as I'm going to make this this kind of smoothie is you know it doesn't have to be all wild we'll just look around and see what's in the vegetable plot which is a nice bit of fennel very similar to um, the variety you find just out in the wild um, a few sour thistles and a bit of spinach burdock here which we're not going to use today or this wonderful sour thistle which well Let me just show you this. Leave the root in there. I'm gonna take this small one for the smoothie and I'm gonna give this big one after its namesake, the sows, the female pigs. Do sows like sow thistles? Come on girls, what do you reckon? I think that's a piggy thumbs up for the south thistle. Saving the ladybird. Do you want to actually see what's happening? Oh no, I thought I was being, I thought I was being nice. And now, now it's trying to swim for its life in this water. Panic over, back to the smoothie. So here we are, back at home, ready to prepare our drink. And what's really wonderful about what we're going to make now is that until about a month ago, I've had a real tendency to have, you know, about a ton of porridge, which I really like, with lots of banana in, which really kind of sits heavy on your stomach. I'm going to make about two pints now, and you might think, two pints of that? Oh, no way. But honestly, you, you, the, the water gets absorbed quite quickly, and then you don't have that sense of you know, heavy food just like sitting there, weighing, weighing you down, making you feel a bit tired. Um, and this is the thing that really surprised me when, when I started making this, is how much energy it gives you for a sustained period. Now you wouldn't think that necessarily from wild greens, but it's just that we've picked them so fresh and they're so high in, in, in nutrients, particularly as we're using a complement of different things. Carefully, the nettles, the dandelions. Now dandelions can be quite bitter. I actually like bitter flavors and in fact, for the last two and a half years, I've not been eating any sugar. So that's including alcohol and honey. And that's really changed my palate. So, cleavers, 
cow parsley and sour thistle, a bit of spinach and finally the uh, fennel. You might be thinking those, those leaves didn't look very wet. I don't, I don't think he, he washed those. It's, it's disgusting, isn't it? Um, I, and I would say, and this is not just me, me being a hypocrite, giving advice that I, I'm not following. As a general rule, yes, it's a good idea to, to wash any wild plants you're picking. Having said that, I've been working with wild plants now for over 25 years, and I'm a great believer um, in building up your natural resistance. Um, and I've got a kind of stomach now that can can, can eat virtually anything without any, any upset. We're going to add, just to balance out the flavours, juice of half a lemon, a little bit of sea salt, a tiny bit of pepper, and the real secret ingredient is a dash of cayenne. Not too much. Now this water might look a little grim, but I went to Glastonbury for the first time a week or so ago and I got this iron rich water from the, from the Red Spring, which is really lovely. So let's give it a twirl. Start off on the slower speed first, um, otherwise it, the, the stuff doesn't get dragged down from the top. I'm going to do this for about a minute so that it really gets well, well blended up. Now as you can imagine there's countless variations, it really depends on the spring greens that you use. Um, another thing you might consider is sometimes I put bean sprouts in there or half an avocado or some tofu as well just to kind of really balance out the fat and the protein if you want to think of it as a kind of complete meal. I mean in a sense it is a complete meal. And there we are, our fantastic, vibrant, life-giving celebration of spring, a green smoothie. So cheers everybody, enjoy the spring. Ah. Ah.